I came into teaching as a second career, and when you are looking for something that's going to guide you to help other people, I think the classroom is probably the easiest way to get started. So I came into teaching about 13 years ago. Um, I was really looking for an outlet for my own creative force. I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts, and I would worked in HR and human resources for about seven years and really wanted an opportunity to express what I had. And um, going into middle school, was just an adventure in itself. It was just so fun and the kids are absolutely insane. So I think you have to have a certain level of openness and a little bit of craziness and be receptive to how they're gonna take and adapt to things. You know, with students, there's a lot of this um, combination of biology as well as biography. So you have to understand what their, what their chemical makeup is going through as well as what they're actually coming from in their own real life. Year one, I was very much um, fortunate, fortunate enough to work with Kentucky Center for the Arts and Little Visual Art Association on Project Blue Drum. We built a 14 foot high outdoor installation of a giant drum, which was so much fun. The kids got to go on this great field trip to do glass blowing and to create teardrops so it looked like a giant paint bucket. And with all these teardrops hanging down, we had the, the blue man people we had created out of like duct tape and, and paint and just, they're crawling up the side of like this giant tube on the outsides. So projects like that were really that opportunity for not only kids to see they could actually have something um, exposed in the real world, but also give them, um, give me a chance to kind of see them take that and just really run with it. We are human. We are absolutely human. And I think one of the biggest challenges that we have has to come from, it really just has to come from finding a way to, to bridge that gap with the relationship. I can put the tools into a student's hand. I can give them every motivation but part of that has to be on their own. When we get started in the classroom, we actually start with the phrase, wheel is greater than skill, is what I'll say, and then the kids will call back and make it work. Um, it's a paraphrase from Muhammad Ali, thank you, and using those inspirational words from Ali, we kind of take that opportunity just to kind of get our mindset ready, we're gonna make artwork, we're gonna make mistakes, but let's embrace a little bit of that inspiration from Bob Ross as well, and just give ourselves some love and find a way to overcome from all those mistakes. I think one of the biggest challenges I have personally had has really been from making myself be aware that it's okay to get it wrong too. I instill that in my students, hey, we have to find a way to keep going, but giving myself that grace and giving that open and honest reflection with the students and telling them, hey, I made a mistake and owning up to it, it's demonstrating that they can do it too, but that is a struggle, it's a challenge, because we just want to get it right. We want to get it right every time. I started with LVA at the same time I started teaching, and I think it was probably one of the best things I could have done. Um, LVA has provided so many different programs. They've expanded so many times. The fact that they were so adaptable and resilient during NTI, which was so important with our students. When it comes to the future of art in Louisville, I want to see LVA really take the reins and just run wild. We have so many different adventures that we haven't even gotten to yet. There are so many buildings that are just waiting for a mural. I think the fact that we are consistently bringing in more CFAC programs that we are really challenging the city to really grow together. I think that all starts with art, and I think it's a great way to bridge the gap between different cultures, different generations, different, just different walks of life. We all come together when, it, when it's art related, and the fact that different parts of our culture are really well preserved here, I think is, is wonderful, and LVA contributes to that quite consistently throughout their mural program, and throughout the CFAC program, and the academy now, and. There are just so many different opportunities. LVA has really kind of been able to streamline and help make art more of a successful integration with our city. I think people need to be recognized. So when it comes to LVA honoring, I'm thinking about what LVA is more put in to make these honors available to us, to make those opportunities for those kids to have them. I consider myself a very humble person. So when it comes to thinking about being honored for something, I don't think about it in terms of myself. I think about it in terms of my students. I think about it in terms of what have they produced. They've allowed me to have that experience with them. And I think that love and that passion is one of the reasons why I'm being honored for this today.